I'm starting out, I'm gonna pull all these cables in a minute, but this is modular synthesis. It is a whole bunch of individual pieces that you purchase, put in a case, and, or you can build them yourself. A lot of you, uh, you guys I talked to before, we were starting uh, from the DIY community. So you, you grab little bits, build them, buy them, whatever, patch them together, throw them into a case, and uh, you can make really weird music with it. Or you can make good music with it. Whatever You can make noise, it, it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. So I have here a kind of basic subtractive sequence uh, where you have some oscillators, a filter, a wave folder and some ADSRs, uh, envelopes, and then I'm going to pull this once we start. So I'm just changing the envelopes right now. Sequencer is running all this stuff, basically. And that's one of the things you can do. But let's start with an oscillator. So the oscillator just makes waveforms all the time. That's all it does. It, you can't turn it off. It makes just a triangle. Yeah, this is the triangle sound. That's the whole job of this device. This is a sawtooth wave. This is a little loud. And uh, that's all that this device does. So it's not very interesting because it's just a single waveform. So I'm gonna pull these cables out. This was from the test to get levels and everything. So all these cables are used to just patch Every signal, every signal has to be patched. So this is my output. I have one output, that's it. And so if you take this triangle waveform and you want to control its pitch, you can do it with, with a knob, but the keyboard doesn't do anything. So you have a, this module called a key scanner, which it gives you control voltage outputs, which are static voltages. You run that into the octave input and then and it does that. Not very interesting because it's just changing the, the pitch. But if you want to control the amplitude of that signal, you need to use a uh, VCA signal or VCA which will take your signal and control its amplitude. That's how you get the keys to actually do something at all. So this is a gate which will be on when I press the key down and off when I pull the key up. And I'm gonna patch that into this VCA. And then I'm gonna take the oscillator triangle wave out into the VCA as well, and take the output from it. So now, now we have a VCA working. Now, what we wanna do is make that more interesting. That's the whole point. This is, you know, starting from an oscillator is uh, pretty boring, but now we can go from, instead of just controlling the VCA directly with this gate, run it into an envelope, and you have a little bit softer sound. You can control the speed at which it onsets, speed at which it falls. And that's starting to get a little bit more musical. So beyond that, we can take a, and I know you guys can't really see this, so I don't know how helpful all this is. Uh, to be able to, around. we could hover, we could do whatever you want to do in terms of that, or I can just uh, go on talking. I'm gonna try and do the basics pretty quick here. Um, so we can take this, Instead of the triangle waveform, I'm going to take a sawtooth waveform, sounds like this, and run that through a filter. So what a filter does is it takes a signal and pulls harmonics out of it. It takes higher frequencies, as a low pass filter, takes the high frequencies out, and then there's a control called resonance, which gives you around the point at which it takes the high frequencies out 
a bump in those frequencies. That sounds like this. Nope, it doesn't sound like that. And this is the fun part, figuring out what you did. So that's kind of interesting, but as soon as you get up high, you start to lose your, your timbre. It doesn't sound the same as the low notes. So for the filter, you have to patch the volt per octave signal, your, your keyboard, into control it. So now it, it tracks, now you have a stable timbre. And then the other thing we're going to want to do is maybe use a gate signal and another envelope to control how the filter sounds. So the gate out of this key scan only has one patch point, so I'm going to patch it through this buffered multiple, which just gives me copies of the signal to send elsewhere, run it into two different envelopes, and then patch the second envelope into the filter's uh, frequency modulation control. So now you have a second envelope that controls that, and that sounds a little bit more like a classic synthesizer. So that's kind of the... Yeah, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. Saturation. So this is without any saturation. And go octave up. That's turning it up a bit. I guess it drives it a bit more with the oscillator going into it. Yeah, I just have a single oscillator yeah. going into it right now. So, so we can patch something like that. Um, so that's kind of the basics of how you patch a very basic sound. Um, we can go into a lot of more advanced stuff, but that's uh, kind of the starting off point. So does that make sense to everybody? Any questions? Okay. So, how many of you guys have modulars? Okay. Okay. Most have synths and are familiar with, with synths. Okay. Okay. Is there anyone not familiar with synths? No. Nope. Okay. Good. All right. <laughs> then I should ask that question first. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to go through kind of some of the this this system, explain what it is, and so this is a new system that WMD and SSF are putting out called the Monolith, and it's a keyboard with three octaves, with the key scanner, output module all the cables, everything that you need to get started in modular if you're not already into it. Uh, we've set it up in an easy way to get you started and there's patch notes and all sorts of information uh, to help you kind of get your bearings with modular. So, and it's not just a basic system because we've added a bunch of uh, features to the individual modules that are, it's designed to make it a lot more interesting and, and good for uh, intermediate and advanced users as well.